So we're here with Shay, spirits expert, cognac, whiskey, American whiskey expert. And we're here talking about a little bit about cognac. So thank you so much for joining us, Shay. Shay. Like the beer. Now, can you tell us a little bit about cognac, where you see it's going, and what do you look for in a cognac when you're drinking one? And what's, what are some of your favorites? I think that the cognac industry has actually the tremendous amount of potential, possibly the most potential in any of the categories going forward. Um, coming on the heels of, of what has been a, a tremendous boon for the the American whiskey industry and what is still a, a, a booming Scottish whiskey industry, I think the cognac industry has um, a huge spot in the brown spirits category to have a lot of legs. Uh, one for the fact that it's been around for a long time, uh, it has history, it also has a tremendous approachability. Um, as much as Americans want to think they drink dry, they tend to drink sweet. Um, and this is a generally a sweeter product. In terms of the category and products that I that I tend to uh, to like within the category, I think Kelt is a is a tremendous product within what tends to be a, a somewhat uh, crowded category only in the largely marketed uh, products in the Cavassiers, the Hennessy's, the um, the Remy Martins of the world. You have an opportunity in, in some of these smaller uh, production products that that take a little bit more care in their product um, to to make to make quite a I think a, a footprint in the in the industry. Well, you said something earlier that I'm so gonna steal. It was about what do you look for as a structure of a cognac in terms of the alcohol and things of that nature. Um, when you, like a true connoisseur, a true person that loves cognac, what should they should be looking for? Well, I think I think you should. You said something about like rye whiskey because you're a big you're a big American whiskey fan. So I look for in cognac the the, uh, the similar thing I look for in American whiskey. In, in American whiskey, I think when you when you deal with bourbons, you deal with American whiskeys. You add, you usually add rye to the mixture as one of the flavor ingredients. Rye will give you a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of structure and dryness to the whiskey, which in American whiskey, when you're normally dealing with the corn, uh, which is a, a generally sweeter grain, gives you a little bit of structure, gives you a little bit of, uh, uh, it gives you a beginning, a middle, and an end to your palate. And I feel the same way in cognac when, you, when you're talking about alcohol. Some of the, some of the really fine cognacs of the, of the world um, aren't necessarily my favorites for that exact reason. They tend to get a little sweet and tend to lose a little bit of backbone. I like something that has a mixture of sweetness, a mixture of alcohol, a mixture of fruitiness, so that you have that beginning, middle, and end palate, and and a real structure and backbone to your to your uh, to your spirit. Now, I mean, you, I, I called you a spirits expert. Um, how many spirits do you um, basically represent or basically advise on the marketplace um, for the United States? Uh, across all categories: vodka, gin, uh, bourbon. Scotch, tequila, uh, pretty much all eau de, eau de vies, but um, hundreds, of, hundreds of brands, uh, thousands of SKUs, but uh, pretty much across all categories. Well, thank you so much, Shay. I really appreciate it, and uh, I really enjoy drinking with you, so uh, please come back to the, to the Wee Witchy Bar and uh, to drink some more cognac. Hope to be back soon. Cheers.